Bloons Tower Defense 6 is a modern version of the classic flash game, tower defense kind of game. It builds along the past five Bloons CD games. It has the same core gameplay with some modern updates that are both good and bad. Uh, in the good category, it has some new levels. There's more customization for each tower, so each tower now has three different paths, so you can kind of mix and match some of them and get some more combinations from each towers. Um, there's some new game modes. There's some account-wide buffs. There's a progression system, um, which is mostly good. I can say at times it can be a little frustrating. You have to level things up, it feels like, in order to be able to beat some of the later maps. There's some XP for each each monkey, each tower that you have in order to unlock the later tiers. So there's some progression like that that's fun. There's some daily challenges, co-op, levelable heroes that I think are all good changes. But another element of it that is, again, a modern update is that there's microtransactions in the game, which are also present in Bloom's Tower Defense 5. But these microtransactions are very much pay to win in the sense that if you buy these microtransactions, you can pay to continue games where you otherwise would have lost. You can pay to place instant towers that'll help you out. You can play, pay for these various powers, such as, you know, place a bunch of spikes that will pop a bunch of balloons that will help you out. So paying money will help you out, but you really don't have to. You can get these power-ups from playing the game itself. So it's not the worst microtransactions that I think they're out there, but it definitely can be a little annoying. So if you're a type of person who, if you play a game, you're going to, you know, feel forced to spend money, don't play this game. But if you're the kind of person that can ignore them to sort of take the game as it is, then you can be perfectly fine without paying any money. Um, some other negatives are the co-op often drops, and as I mentioned earlier, the progression can be a little frustrating at times, even though it can also be rewarding. But overall, I would say it's a fun and cheap reinvention of that classic Flash Tower Defense game into a more modern game. So it's definitely worth checking out if you want to scratch that old Flash Tower Defense itch. If you're not someone who would feel forced to pay those pay-to-win microtransactions. Thanks for watching.